What's up, everybody? This is Perry's Ratliff again. And you probably heard me say this before, but I am hands down. I'm the black Forrest Gump. I got some of the greatest stories of all time. Okay. I have to be in the top five. Like when I think about great storytellers, it's let's see. It's Charlie Murphy, Jamie Foxx, Mike Tyson and me and there's somebody else in there I don't know who it is maybe Paul Mooney I don't fucking know but I'm definitely in like the top five I got at the weirdest shit happened to me I get into these weird situations and today I want to talk about the first time I had how do I how do I explain this I want to say this without it being too okay my first encounter with a transsexual and this is the first encounter there were there were three there were three different encounters this is all by mistake okay this ain't I'm not going out searching for transsexuals yeah, that's thunder. It's a, it's, a, it's a rainy day. Um, anyway, there's three different stories, and this is the first time that this ever happened. This is the first story, and the first story isn't as bad as the second story, and the second story ain't got shit on the third story. But those are stories for another day. Um, let me get into it. So this was I was maybe nine. I think I think I was like 18 or 19 I don't I don't remember this was a, a while ago and I'm in Chicago and that's where I live I'm in Chicago and I'm driving down a very popular street on the west side of Chicago called Madison okay and I'm driving a 1994 green Chrysler Concorde I had some 20 inch rims on it. I thought I was the shit. All right. Like it looked actually like a, a 1994 Concorde with 20 inch rims. I had some 20 inch Lorenzo's on there. Shit looked real good. All right. I was stunned in my head. I was stunned, you know, and I'm driving down Madison Street and I was like maybe Madison in California. I know this is some very local Chicago shit, but deal with it. Maybe Madison in California. And on the side of me, there's this car and there's this girl on the inside and she's like flagging me down. Like, like, like pull over, pull over. And I'm driving like, what? Now it's summertime. So I got the windows down, you know, it was hot. I can't remember what the fuck I had on. Uh, and I'm also... Not to brag, I'm kind of a, of a handsome guy, okay? Fuck it. And she's flagging me down. I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck is going on here? Is this some cooch? So, you know, me being young and horny, I'm like, all right, bitch, hold on. So, I pull over, right, on the, to, on the side of the street. And she pulls her car right behind me. So, I get out. She stays in the car. I get out. I walk over to her to her driver's side window and I say, um, what's going on? And she like, not a bad looking girl. And she's like, um, yeah, um, I'm just going to be honest. Uh, I'm trying to get to Wisconsin, uh, such and such Wisconsin. And I don't have I don't have enough gas to get there. Can you please help me out and I'm like what she like yeah can you please help me out I need I just need a little money to get there and you know I, immediately I start thinking about some real like every hood porno I've ever seen started running through my fucking head so I'm like oh um I, I went right into script I'm like so, so how bad how bad do you need this money and she was like 
Oh, I, I really need it. I really need to get that. I was like, oh yeah. I was like, um, show me how bad you want this money. I don't know what the fuck made me that bold, but I said, fuck it. I don't know this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Might as well try out some fucking hood porno lines. Let's see how this shit plays out. So she was like, uh, what you, what you want me to do? Like in a kind of seductive. So what do you want me to do? And I'm like, oh shit, this shit is fucking working. And then that's when I got cool. You know what I mean? I'm like, um, you know what I want you to do. And then she giggled. And then she was like, okay, get in the car. And my face said, all right, cool. But on the inside of my body, I was like, oh, shit, I'm about to get my dick sucked. I'm about to get my dick sucked. So I ran over to the passenger side. I got in the car. Now, mind you, the whole time I've been talking to this bitch, uh, there's only it's, it's very dark outside. I don't know if I mentioned that. This is late night shit. This is like maybe 11, 12 o'clock at night shit. I don't even know why the fuck I was out there. So I get in the car. And I'm talking to this bitch, right? And I'm like, um, okay, let's do this. So she puts, she puts her hand on my thigh, right? And this bitch's hand was bigger than my shit. I'm six fucking, like, three. Like, what the, what the fuck? I think I'm like six, two. And this bitch's hand was bigger than my shit, and I'm like, wait a minute, and then it gave my fucking thigh a squeeze, not gonna lie to you, it hurt it a little bit, it, it, the bitch kinda hurt my thigh when she squeezed it, and she like, okay, come on, so, I immediately, my, my spider senses started to tingle, fuck it, my transsexual senses started to fucking tingle, no, that don't sound good enough, my, this, this a nigga. This is a nigga since it started to tingle. So I took a real good look at this bitch's face. And as the moonlight and the street lights was hitting off this bitch's face, I seen a square jaw. And I was like, wait a minute. And then I looked at this bitch's throat. This bitch looked like she swallowed a fucking golf ball. I'm like, oh shit. This a nigga. This is a fucking man. So I was terrified. And all I managed to say was, y- you a man. And and then she was like, when I say she, from now on when I say she, this uh, imagine me throwing up the air quotation signs. She was like, wait, no, just just hold on, it's okay. And I'm like, oh shit. And it grabbed my fucking knee. And I fucking, listen, right? I don't even know. I don't even remember opening up the door. I think I did like a fucking teleport. I think I teleported. I I don't even remember getting out of the car. I teleported back into my car. Fuck it. Teleportation is real. I teleported from her car into my car. Next thing I know, I was doing like 50 miles an hour down Madison on my way home. And I was like, oh, shit. I was just in a car with a fucking transsexual that tried to suck my fucking dick. What the fuck? Am I gay? So I went home, right? I went home. I ran up the stairs. I was living in my grandma's house, of course. I was only like fucking 18. And I got underneath the, I got underneath the sheets and the covers with all my clothes and my shoes on. And I wept just a little bit because I was like, I can't believe this fucking shit happened to me scared the fuck out of me so i just laid underneath the covers and i i was probably under there for maybe fucking half a day man i didn't i i felt gay fuck it i was like i can't believe i let this shit happen to me and i immediately started thinking about like like Jerry Spring and shit like that. Like how the guys didn't know. And I was like how the fuck did I know that shit right away. I mean this bitch. Quote unquote bitch. Re- oh, no fuck it bitch. Really. Tricked me. Into getting in that car. Like I could have got. 
could have got fucking molested, Joe. Like, what the fuck? Okay, now, I will say this. Listen, I, I don't have no types of problems with transgenders, transsexuals. I don't know what you call them. I, I, don't, I don't know what you call these people. I don't know the fucking difference. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't fucking know. Somebody help me out. Because... In my world, I look at people as just people. You can be whatever the fuck you want to be. You can be a fucking penguin. I don't give a fuck. It's whatever you identify as. I don't give a fuck. Um, so just be you. The only question I have is. Okay, let's just say like Bruce Jenner, right? I would. I would fuck Bruce Jenner. I would tell you why. Well, not. Okay, let me rephrase that. Caitlin. I will fuck Caitlin jenna you want to know why because recently i heard this bitch got a pussy there's a pussy down there so now you can fuck it and this is the thing though right i want to know like if i was to fuck caitlin jenna would that make me a pedophile would it make me a pedophile because caitlin jenna is a 60 something year old man you know what? I don't like saying man. She's a 60 something year old woman. Right? Air quotes. And her pussy is only like the pussy is only like two months old. It's a two month old pussy. On a 60 something year old body. So if I fuck that puss, will that make me a pedophile? That's, a, that's actually a really good question. Because what the fuck? It's a two-month-old puss. I don't know what the fuck to do. But listen, I would definitely fuck Caitlyn Jenner. You want to know why? First of all, I think that's probably the only bitch out of the entire Kardashian clan I might have a chance with. Let's be honest. I mean, Caitlyn, come get some of this young black dick. I mean, who else is fucking... Caitlyn Jenner she might turn me down that actually hurt me if she turned me down it actually hurt me I mean why not fuck Caitlyn Jenner you know she has the tightest pussy out of all of those bitches it's brand fucking new she still got the bubble wrap and the pussy let me get a piece let me get a piece of that still not sure if this makes me a pedophile but let me get a piece let me take the foam and the bubble wrap out your puss and get a piece let me pop that cherry, Caitlin. Let me pop that motherfucking cherry. This is me shooting my shot, Caitlin. Somebody sent her this fucking video. And plus, she got that paper. I ain't got no paper. Caitlin, let me get. Let me hold. Let me hold out. Let me hold like, I don't know. I fuck for free though. I mean, she got a pussy. It's a fucking celebrity. Let me hit. I mean, I don't know. Does that make me gay? Is it gay? She has titties and a puss. Fucking Caitlyn Jenner is a fucking cougar, man. She's a fucking cougar. Let me hit. But I don't know. Somebody, I need some help. Somebody tell me. Does that make me a pedophile? Brand new pussy. I don't fucking know. This is fucking disgusting. Or is it? I don't fucking know. But that's. That's all I have man. I mean. It, it, my brain just started going in a whole nother direction. Because I don't know. I don't know how this transsexual. Slash transgender. Slash whatever. I don't know how this shit works. And I need help. But that's all I have. And until then, um, I'm going to tell you guys about the second time that this transsexual shit happened. Not today, but I'm, I'm going to tell you. And it's way worse than the first time. This story was okay, but it, it ain't got shit on the second time. And like I said before, the second time ain't got shit on the th The third time was... I don't even know if I'm going to tell it. I shouldn't tell that story. I might not tell that story. You know what? I am going to tell that story. I'm going to tell it. And. Ugh. 
But, you know, that's it. Until next time, motherfuckers. <laughs>